Hello, it's Katie with her moving from the United Kingdom to America video again. Um, and today I came for an audition in San Diego at the Old Town and decided that I would just pop down to the harbour. So I'm going to turn my phone around now and give you a little view. Um, it's really lovely down here. It's a nice day. The weather has been absolutely appalling recently, believe it or not. Um, but this is the harbour. There's a seaport village. There's our hotels along there, boats. And I think I can go. Let's walk up here for some boats. Um, and I can show you around. Um, So you have the um, great big ship here, which is the uh, War Museum, and I can't remember the name of it. I just drove past it and I can't rem rem remember the name of it. So if you are coming down to San Diego, that is quite a good trip to do. Shame I can't tell you the name of it. I've been to this restaurant before, uh, which is right on the water. There's the boats there. Uh, you can see in the distance over there, I believe that island over there, let's walk in the grass, that island over there is, is that Coronado? I'm not sure. Um, we've performed the Singers in Disguise Act at the Hotel del Coronado, which is San Diego, although they call it Coronado. You just go over the bridge. I don't know if you can see that great big long, you can see it just slightly there, bridge that takes you right over the water here but you can see people jogging along here and and what a lovely place it is to come for a little jog certainly beats running around Pishaberry Park in Sawbridgeworth in the slodging mud and the pouring rain um, but yes yeah, so there's that great big ship so you can see it there well I don't know if you can see it not that one that great big one with its back to well, its back towards the sun nearly fell in the water then. <laughs> um, yeah, so here is the view. There's that great big long bridge that I was telling you that you drive along to go to Coronado. Hotel del Coronado is a very famous old hotel, and although the film Some Like It Hot with Marilyn Monroe, Jack Lemmon, and Tony Curtis was supposed to have been filmed in Florida when they went to the beach, uh, the Hotel Beach. It was actually filmed in California at the Coronado. So it's quite famous because of that. And when you go to that hotel, there's lots of old black and white photos from Some Like It Hot. So here is the view here. It's quite industrially. You can see quite a lot of cranes. Um, and there's a big marine base here, you know, there's like a lot of uh, the seals, and I mean seals as in the animal and then seals as in the marine seals as well. <laughs> um, here's some of the architecture of San Diego, San Diego City Art. Uh, we performed here right in San Diego at an old historic, another historic hotel called the El Cortez a little while back, which was very, very nice. Um, yes, so San Diego is definitely worth a visit. It's all very quiet today. Oh look, there's a pelican. Uh -huh. um, yes, San Diego is, is a very nice place. Uh, there is a one little street though, however, how we found, we found it by accident when we were making our way to the Coronado back in November that is absolutely filled with homeless people and considering how lovely the rest of the city is when you happen across this street it's really quite shocking um, that is something that I find generally in California um, it's warm I mean although we've had a terrible rainy spell it's usually warm and sunny so if you are a homeless person it's the best place to be uh, consequently Santa Monica which is a lovely place you know it's very nice when I went there for the first time 
oh, I was so shocked because it was like walking onto the set of The Walking Dead. There were so many homeless people there. I, I couldn't believe it. Venice Beach, you think it's so glamorous. Um, I'm going to turn this around so you don't look at me. You can look at the sea. Um, you think it's so glamorous, you know, all that down there. Oh. I was so shocked. I was so shocked and I ended up saying to my husband, I said, I can't bring my, my kids down to this beach. I said, it's just full of slobbing homeless people sleeping all over the place, drunk and stoned out their brains. It was, it was, I'm probably making it sound worse than it is, but I tell you, considering how amazingly wonderful you think it's going to be coming from England, um, it was very, very shocking. Um, but still worth a visit, still worth a visit. The pier's fun for the kids, they like it. The great big wheel and some of the rides and the shops are great, the restaurants are good. Uh, yeah, so still worth a visit, just uh, not quite as glamorous as you think. But yes, here we are in San Diego. It's a very nice little place. It's very quiet, it's got an international airport as well. It would certainly make a, a very welcome and different visit, especially if you're coming from the United Kingdom. And um, on Saturday I have an audition up in Los Angeles, so I am going to go up there and then I probably will drive either to Rodeo Drive or to Santa Monica afterwards and I will film that for you and I shall put that on YouTube as well and I hope it will be of some interest, um, getting the point of view of an English person who's moved from England to California and um, my point of view on things. Anyway, thank you very much. Signing off. Cheerio.